Okay, and I'm going to let it go now so you can understand um, how the attenuator is going around. We'll have it follow um, the, uh, the power ring. And again, each time we do that, each time we speed it up, we're storing energy in this flywheel system. Again, flywheels do not generate energy. They don't generate electricity. Well, we would have to have an alternator or generator on the top of this um, device, and then it definitely would put out um, electrical energy consistent with the amount of energy that we stored in the flywheel system. What the magnetic uh, field does, and again, it doesn't provide energy, it provides a force, is it is aligning so that it can give us that acceleration as we go. I'll do it a couple more times. And again, I'm playing the computer. I'm realigning this. And I'll show you that it aligns almost by, by itself. When we uh, get to the point where we're speeding up uh, the, the, the mass uh, to a high rate of speed, I'll just rotate it here. It's probably 40 RPM. You can see that the timing mark comes around and I need very little adjustment to maintain my acceleration or to maintain the current speed. Uh, so if I have an alternator up there, it's going to start uh, giving me drag. Um, I can accelerate that, and I can decouple and couple the load. 